Hey everyone, Misha B. Barkin here. I... Yeah, I don't know how to start this video, guys. Today's topic is a really sickening one, and one that is surprisingly not talked about incredibly often. I've only seen videos done about this by non-furs, and they tend to group all the furries into this when... No. God no. Today's topic is about Five Nights at Freddy... <clears throat> ah, this appears to be the wrong script. Okay, um... Ah, here we go. Today's topic is about Carpet Sample, who he is, people's experiences with him, and just... Ugh. This video definitely needs a thick forewarning before we dive into this topic. Y'all, this is way worse than I expected when I started researching for this video. Today's video is about a very disturbed individual who engages in very fucked up communities, as well as posts very graphic posts via text and... Unfortunately, pictures as well. I genuinely felt sick to my stomach as I was researching this, and I feel uneasy just writing the script. Just a quick content warning, this video contains talk of zoophilia, pedophilia, and plushophilia. A quick note, plushophilia is obviously nowhere near as bad as the other two, to be honest. It's a neutral, doesn't hurt anyone thing, but the other two? Oh boy! Lastly, before we begin, I won't be diving into the zoophilia portion hardly at all, as I just don't want that topic on my channel. Just know that if you go to look this person up, there's a solid chance you might see some not safe for life content. Anyway, <laughs> uh, enjoy! So who is Carpet Sample? Carpet Sample, aka Shadow Wolf Fess, is a... Uh, furry. Who used to go to conventions and antagonize- <clears throat> interact with other congoers and such. Carpet Sample makes his own suits. Isn't that neat? He also makes them out of things he has lying around his house. Very eco-friendly. Yeah, except it's, a uh, made out of stuffed animals and other things he's had, um, relations with. Carpet Sample is not a great individual. As stated before, CS is a pretty disgusting person, engaging in acts of zoophilia documented in text logs and I believe photos. Though I can confidently say I didn't dig around too hard to try to find if there were in fact photos, I don't want to see that. He's also been documented trying to groom minors, as well as just being hella creepy towards much younger people than himself. A quick note, older people in the community is absolutely fine, but you need to acknowledge that you have to act a bit different around younger members, especially minors. And considering that this is a 62 year old we're talking about, uh, yeah. So how did Carpet Sample come to light? There's posts about him as early as 2009 on Fur Affinity, roughly 12 years ago. Yeah, that's right, 2009 was 12 years ago, bet that makes you feel old, huh? It seems like CS has been kinda in the furry underground, stuff that only gets talked about under the table. I've never heard of him until recently, but if you search for the info, it's out there. Another post that gained some traction was a deleted Reddit post. I'm unsure of when that was posted and where, but this other one on r slash furry was posted four years ago and saw a decent amount of interaction. Deadwing Dork on YouTube was another person to make a video talking about Carpet Sample roughly nine months ago, and <laughs> Boy, he does not hold back the details. If you want to see the full scope of it all, that's a great video to check out. I'm gonna go ahead and read some Reddit comments and other things, just so you can get a better picture of just who this person is. He's still around? Is this the same carpet sample? He sat down next to me once at MFM Con Suite in 2006 or 7, and proceeded to talk about his character's in detail while I was trying to eat. Nothing against girl bits in general, just don't want to hear about bodily functions while eating. Also, I've heard rumors about the suit materials. What kind of rumors? The maker neglected to sanitize any of the used fabrics before construction. Whatever lives in the materials before it was made are still on that thing. That guy inside the suit must be happy he made it himself. That's sad. It also looks like he did attempt to make in a multi-layer on I give him hugs no matter what in the sole of the suit and it is art not a drama. That's me. I know Carpet Sample's been posted, but I didn't want to say Carpet Sample and make you go look for it, so here's the abomination in all of its glory again. I don't think anyone's posted the true horror behind this suit. Carpet Sample's creator created Carpel... Wow, Carpel Tunnel. Carpet Sample's creator created Carpet... That is a... That is a phrase. That is a lot of C's. Carpet Sample's creator created Carpet Sample out of the stuffed animals that he's jizzed on in repeatedly without washing them, skinned them, then slowly pieced them together into this monstrosity without washing off the... the... cement. I remember someone posting this pic either here or on r slash make me suffer a few months back and someone in the comments provided some context. Yes, the suit is made out of stuffed animals he's... It's not the only suit he has like this. He does indeed have a in the suit that he can... that he can... <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
he does indeed have a vagu in the suit that he can and does pee through. It's been a while since I've read this, holy shit. And yes, the picture smells exactly as bad as you think it does. If I remember correctly, the person who has met him said you could smell him before you even saw him. Apparently the suit has a built-in Vegeta that he can pee out of and he never takes the suit off. Going from comments elsewhere from people who met him, it unsurprisingly reeks and he has worn it without taking it off for years. I don't think that last part's true. He was banned from a furry con for forcing a girl who works there's face into his costume to inhale it. My god. He was banned from so many cons, many before he ever had the chance to sexually harass people if I remember correctly. He got close. He was reported to have chased people into alleyways. He's also 51 as of 2009 when he le was last seen. Was confirmed to like to do- yeah and was a suspected pedophile. He is honestly the worst non-murderer I can think of, although I would not surpri be surprised if he has murdered someone. I've known about this guy for a while and he is probably the final boss of all furries. Do tell more. <laughs> like OP said, he walks around in a fursuit made from violated stuffed animals and harasses congoers. He's also a zoophile and alleged pedophile. He goes by the name of Shadow Wolf S. The more you learn about him, the more disturbing it gets. Search his name for yourself. Don't. <laughs> Please, please don't search his name. So yeah, any sane person is absolutely in agreement that this guy is beyond messed up. So how does this happen? How the hell does something like this even happen? Well, this is a severe lack of discipline. Nowadays, we have multiple reasons on why things like this aren't acceptable and are extremely frowned upon for very obvious reasons. Now, I'm not saying that these things were considered okay back then, but people were less willing to speak up about bad things as we see with, <clears throat> racism. It's very obvious to anyone who isn't ignorant that the furry community hates zoophiles and will always axe them out of this community. In early 2000s as well as early 2010, people just kind of rolled with the fact that people like this exist, as messed up as it is. Only recently has the furry community been so vocal about these type of people being unacceptable. So what can we do to prevent this from happening again? Just keep talking. Make people like this feel as uncomfortable as possible. Make sure that they know they are not welcome in this community and never will be. Some people will say that this sort of thing is okay. They are wrong. They are not a part of this community. I can only hope that people like Carpet Sample and others who are like him get the help they so desperately need, as this isn't normal to a very concerning degree, though I don't hold my breath. So we're to the end of the video and whew, this was a lot more messed up than I thought it was going to be when I first started doing research for this. This person is among the worst examples of people tarnishing this great community, and I won't sit around and let that happen. Plus it's interesting to look at such crazy situations and wonder how it got to that point. It's the reason many drama shows are as popular as they are. Anyways, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!